a lot of interesting and wonderful people. Um, but I think I could say that my philosophy is to live every day. Because mm -hmm. you never know what's going to be around the corner. And um, especially in the disease that I have, um, which is not going to get better. Um, I have to keep myself in uh, a good place. And I'm, I am, I, everyone has a death sentence. You know, I've, I say to myself, I could just step off the curb in Dubai. That hasn't happened to me. But one has to realize that we are on this planet for a certain amount of time and then things happen. Mm -hmm. But I have a lot of hope and I have a, a lot of love from my family and I have a lot of love to give. And I, you know, I have a, a daily rhythm, I think. I, I, I roll out of bed in the morning, I do my floor exercises, I have coffee. And as a, a flutist, I do start my day playing scales, exercises, and I take a daily walk or a hike every day. And I play with the dogs and the horses, and I'm crazy in love with my husband, who is recently retired after a distinguished career in broadcasting. And we have quality time together, so I feel very grateful. With, with everything that you have done over the past years, what would you say has been the best advice that you have ever received? Wow. Well, I would say, it's going to sound strange, but the best advice I've ever had is me to myself. And that is, as someone who has been living with a death sentence for nearly the last four years, when I know I've done something I regret or wish I had done differently, I make sure to make things right, to turn it around, to take responsibility. I don't allow myself the luxury of letting time pass. I just don't have time. Hmm. Well, that's... The Thank you so much, Eugenia. So this has been um, an absolute pleasure. And, and again, I want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to, to chat with me about your experiences and, and your current disease. I really appreciate it. And the listeners will get so much out of this interview. If listeners would like to buy your book, uh, which is available now, or read more about what you're working on, where is the best place they can go to do that? I would say uh, Amazon because the book is uh, everywhere on Amazon, and um, and my website is eugeniazuckerman.com, and it's Z U K. There's no C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. So I will. Um, I will also put those in the show notes. Uh, a link to your book as well as a link to your website, so the listeners can click right through. Again, Eugenia, this has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Advance Your Art Podcast. If you like this episode, please go into iTunes and give us a five-star rating. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button so that every single time I release a new episode, it will go directly to you without even thinking about it. If you're interested in hearing older episodes, Please go to AdvanceYourArt.com where you can find the catalog of everything I've done so far, as well as contact information and projects I'm working on. Thank you again, and have a great day.